This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is done by the Lord and it is marvelous in our lives. I love you, Lord. I vow to delight in the righteousness of Christ and cherish oh, him above all else. Never As Christ will never me. forsake his church, I vow to and never forsake you because you are mine. As Christ gave his life for the church, I vow to love you sacrificially. I vow to lead you as Christ leads the church so that our marriage will be a clear display of the gospel. I vow to love you as I love myself and honor and cherish you as the weaker vessel. As Christ is committed to our sanctification, I vow to wash you with the word so that you may be adorned and sanctify it as his disciple. As God has forgiven me of my sin, I vow to forgive you when you hurt me. In order to display the profound mystery of Christ and the church, I, as your husband, I vow not to deprive you of physical fulfillment. I vow to live with you in an understanding way, loving you even when you are not deserving of love. I vow to humbly lead you, love you, cherish you, protect you, and honor you till death do us part. Where you will go, I will go. Where you will stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God, my God. I have waited for what seems like an eternity to say these words to a God-fearing man and today by God's grace I get to. My God has been merciful to me. I vow to submit to you as the church submits to Christ. As the church reveres Christ, I vow to honor you, respect you, delight in you and to defer to you as the leader of our home. I vow to respect you, love you, cherish you and support you and I pledge to you my life as an obedient and faithful wife until death do us part. And all my life you have been faithful.